everybody today in chapter 3 matrices we are going to discuss question number 11 of miscellaneous exercise let us see in this question number 11 it is said that find the matrix x so that x multiplied by the another matrix gives you the matrix so let us see this x is a matrix but the order is not given we will try to work out for the order suppose the order of the x is m into n okay and here the order of this matrix is 2 into 3 and the matrix which is obtained is also of the order 2 into 3 just see if x is multiplied by this matrix that means this column should be equal that means column of the x should be equal to the row of the given matrix it means that n is equal to 2 now if n is equal to 2 then the order of the resultant matrix is m into 3 and from here you can conclude that m is equal to 2 so by doing this we could get that order of the x so let us take x this will be we can take four variable a b c d and this is what we have to work out for the values of a b c d here it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and it is given minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 2 4 6 okay now let us multiply you know your this term will be multiplied with this term so you will be getting a plus 4b okay now again this term will be multiplied with this first row second column so it is 2a plus 5b then first row third column that is 3a plus 6b once again we'll check it a plus 4b 2a plus 5b and 3a plus 6b similarly second row first column that is c plus 4d then 2c plus 5d And three C plus six D. Okay, then there is a sign of equality that is minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, two, four, six. Now, if two matrices are equal, then their corresponding elements are equal. So you can see here that the value of this will be equal to minus seven. So A plus four B. Is equal to minus seven. You can take any other equation here. Two a, two a plus five b is equal to minus eight. Here you are having three equations. So with with the help of any two equation, you can get the value of a and b. So just solve this one. You can multiply this by two. So you will be getting two a plus eight b is equal to minus fourteen. Then two a plus five b is equal to minus eight. Just change the sign. Here it becomes plus. So eight minus five, you get here three b. Okay. And here minus fourteen plus eight will give you minus six, and the value of b is equal to minus two. Keep the value of b minus two in this equation. Okay. In this equation, so it becomes a. Plus four minus two is equal to minus seven and a minus eight is equal to minus seven and a is equal to minus seven plus eight that is equal to one. Similarly, you can work out for any two equations. I am taking here c plus four d. Here c plus four d is equal to the set. This corresponding element of this is two. Okay. Then another one, two c plus five d, two c plus five d is equal to the value. This will be equal to four. Same thing, you have to do. Multiply this equation by two. You will be getting two c plus eight d is equal to four. Two c plus five d is equal to four. Just you can see here, you got this term as cancelled here. It is two, and this here four. Okay, so this will be minus again minus and minus. When it three D is equal to 
0. So 3D is equal to 0 and the value of D is here 0. Keep the value of D here 0. So C plus 4D is equal to 2. C plus 4 into 0 is equal to 2 and your C is equal to 2. So finally we have got the value of here it is A is equal to 1, A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 2, C is equal to 2 and D is equal to 0. Therefore X is equal to A, B, C, D and you can keep these values here A is 1, B is minus 2, C is 2 and D is 0. And this is how if any matrix is given and its order and its entries can be worked out. Thank you.